Today's recipe is so delicious, you're not gonna believe it. It's eggplant parmesan meatballs. And they're pretty simple, there's a few steps, but every single step is gonna be totally worth it. I've started off by slicing my one pound of eggplant into one inch planks and then salting it for 30 minutes. That draws out some of the moisture, you can see it's kind of wet. I'm going to rinse off the salt now. It adds a little bit of seasoning, but really what it does is draw out moisture. And I find that when you salt it, you actually need slightly less oil. And eggplant takes a lot of oil. So if you care about that kind of thing, salting is very helpful. Have a pan heating. I like to use a cast iron skillet for this, sort of a medium, medium high, and add a tablespoon of oil or so. The eggplant needs to be cooked before you form it into the mixture that makes the meatballs. So you wanna cook your eggplant until it's golden brown and tender. Oh look, I can get three in. How annoying is that? What about this one? I'm gonna have to wait. It takes about five minutes to cook these so that they're golden brown, not burnt, but cooked through. All right, these are looking soft and delicious. They can come out. You want to cool them off just a little bit and allow any excess oil, if there is any, to come off. So you can put them back on the rack if they're in a rack or a colander, whatever you're using. Once they've cooled off, that'll take like a minute, two minutes. You can grind them up. You're going to combine everything in a food processor. Your eggplant can go in. You know it's good if it's basically falling apart before you even get it there. This is one and a third cups of toasted breadcrumbs. You need a total of two and a third cups, but only one and a third gets toasted. So that's what's going in here. One clove of garlic that's been minced, and then a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Grind it together. You're making a paste here. Then you can transfer it to a bowl. And to help bind it, because these are actually quite delicate, you're gonna add one egg white. So they're not vegan, they are vegetarian. They have cheese on them anyway, so they were never gonna be vegan to begin with. The parm adds a good amount of salt, so you're not gonna really need to add too much salt here. Just a bit. And then one egg white. Stir it in. Now, because this is super delicate, you may want to chill this for about 30 minutes, and that's what I'm gonna do, because it makes it easier to roll into the balls. You can roll it right away. It just might stick a little bit to your hands. Okay, looks the same, but it's gonna be easier to roll now that it's been chilling. This should make about 12 sort of medium large-ish balls, like the size of a big walnut, I would say. They're pretty delicate once you have started browning them. Don't expect them to completely hold their shape because they're not going to, but that's part of the beauty. So remember I said that you need a total of two and a third cups of breadcrumbs. One and a third were toasted. I have the other one cup here. These little guys get rolled in the breadcrumbs and then chilled again. So coat them in breadcrumbs and then back onto the tray. I wonder if this is a great way to get kids to eat eggplant. Alrighty. These are going to go back into the fridge just so that they get extra nice and firm for about one hour. To brown your meatballs, heat about two tablespoons oil or so, or at least enough to coat the bottom of a pan. Add your meatballs. You wanna make sure it is hot enough, otherwise they might stick. And like I mentioned earlier, these are pretty delicate, so you really wanna treat them with love and kindness. It should take about six to seven minutes. Turn them occasionally to brown on all sides and also to help keep the shape, even though they probably won't keep their shape. <laughs> These guys look great. I'm gonna take them out and make my sauce right in this pan and then they'll go back in. To that pan you can add a little bit more oil if necessary, a tablespoon. And then a couple cloves of sliced garlic and a pinch of hot pepper flakes. Just until fragrant, so 30 seconds or so. And then this is one 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes pureed with their juice just in the food processor. Step back if you don't want to get your white shirt really dirty. About a half a teaspoon of salt. All of that tomato water going into that hot fat will definitely splatter. Then you can add your meatballs right back into the sauce. Have your oven preheating to 425 degrees because this is going to cook right in the oven. It's going to take about 18 minutes. 
Now, the last step is adding the cheese. Change the oven to broil and top with some mozzarella cheese. I like to put one piece at least on each meatball. Voila. And then into the broiler just until the cheese melts and gets bubbly. That'll take like a minute, two minutes, who knows? Depends on your broiler. Oh, babies. Oh, my God, you can smell it in here. Probably should wait, but I'm not gonna because I'm greedy. Scoop and serve. Ha ah, ha you see that cheese? Wow. So good, you guys. Just keep piling them on top because they look so beautiful. They kind of look like poached eggs right now. Kind of funny. Four for me, none for you. <laughs> that was mean. I don't mean to be mean. <laughs> it won't break, it just keeps stretching. Oh, there we go. Voila. Mmm. What a good laugh. But it was totally worth it. It was amazingly delicious and you should definitely 